Look for Eric Adamson to go behind the cage and trigger this offense. And a lot of inside ball movement off of his initial dodge. Instead, it's Bob Zine with the inside roll. Right on. Adamson draws the eyes of the defense. Bob Zine catches. The defense is sloughed out a little too much. He takes advantage with an... Under eight. Canizero being guarded by Eppel. Loses his footing. Took his hand out of the crease. Looking to get inside. He does. Gets to the rack and scores. Oh, wow, look at this move right here. Takes the defender up. Knows that the slide isn't coming once he's out of that roll. Increases the angle and sticks. Make a save. You can see the focus paid attention to the Thompsons, and rightly so. Quick inside dot from his back. A little joke. He's dead in the water. Miles Thompson comes up, goal line extended. Physical defense, double teamed on his back and sticks top shelf. Are you kidding me? Look at this. That is strength, not only to get to the field, but look at, hey, I still have the ball in my stick. And how about that wrist strength to get that thing off with some pepper to get past Connor Gordon? Defense, possession after possession to play these guys. It's gonna wear you down. Miles Thompson, the inside roll on Dahl. Keeps it in his left hand, shot. Certainly Ohio not going to go out there and make Rob Pinnell force aside, so he does it his own end. Wow! <laughs> and even I can do the math right now. They're shooting at zero. <laughs> Donovan behind the cage again. You can smell his confidence from here. And pushed into the creek. They're going to wave it off. I thought he was pushed in. Get a look at Dylan Maltz, Derek Maltz's younger brother at the attack. So there, and he, there he is. And he scores with the flag. Maltz, but the game is completely different. His older brother Derek's a finisher. This guy is a water bug, loves space, loves to attack. You look at the change of direction and the wherewithal to get inside and for a freshman. Oh, championship weekend. Last year, Loyola won it all. Duke's been to six straight championship weekends, so someone's season is ending early. Okay. And then Syracuse going up against Brian as Pinnell gets inside and money in the bank. Today, he is Superman. And the Maryland defense is confused. They slide too early one time. This time, they don't even slide. You cannot give a guy like Rob Pinnell this much room. He recognizes and goes right to the heart, the middle of that defense, and makes him pay. 27. <laughs> Joe Cummings, who had two goals last week. Being very well marked, gets an opportunity, and it's knocked away. Good defense that time in front by the launch. If we get a chance, you'll see Justin Ward uses very little tape on his cross. He says he doesn't want it to confuse him more than anything, but might it help in a soggy, rainy kind of day? Ward to the goal! Scores! Huge numbers in a hurry, and Justin Ward, no tape on the stick. You see the transfer. And the backhand, that is sweet right there. And if you're Albany, you haven't played Ward as a Dodger all game, Joe. They're playing him as a feeder. Lyle gets a step. Albany up by two. The trickeration on that low angle shot. Now just a conventional inside roll. Keeps his angle and sticks at Q. Like to change his speed on this roll. Plant, spin to the inside, protect your stick. Gets loose, shoots wide, cock it in there on the back up. Cockerton loses his man. Save, Lemel and Earl. Loyola gets a chance to put goals back to back. Loyola this season, the fewest amount of points in the first half for them was three. They've got three right now. And really come at you. Offensive possession after offensive possession and Pontrello, one of the top goal scorers. I think that combination, Ward and Pontrello, the second best one-two punch in the nation.